weekly update for, uh, what is today? Um, 10th? June 10th. I'm going with that, June 10th. Uh, facts from Matt Dell. I was talking to Siler and had an idea. I was reading an article on bleedingcool.com about Marvel and DC's event du jour, and people were complaining and basically saying they'd never read the big two again. And it occurred to me that what I most wanted to do was post, have you ever tried Cerebus? With a link to a digital copy of an issue. And that was my really big idea. Virtually free Cerebus. 16 digital issues of Cerebus, one from each phone book, available on the Cerebus Downloads website as a teaser for the phone book's series as a whole. The idea being that you could get the Cerebus online guys uh, we're going to make that guy singular, it's just handy, to go to various message boards and find people dissatisfied with the current state of comics and post, have you ever tried Cerebus with a link to where the digital issues are or a specific digital issue? And then Matt goes on to uh, explain what uh, he thinks the hypothetical issue should be from each of the 16 volumes, and we're going to skip past that part to where he says, this idea kind of stems from when I first started reading Cerebus. My friend lent me the first five phone books and I devoured them and said, do you got any more? I think if you gave out free digital copies of issues, people might have the same reaction and either buy downloads or buy physical copies. And uh, I think it's a great idea, but I think we got to get a little closer to uh, Matt's own experience which was he got all five books and read them and went, this is really cool, I want copies of my own and uh, I want to I keep reading this. What I'm thinking we should be doing, um, and I'm hoping uh, George Gatsis is watching because he's the guy in the pilot seat over there at Cerebus Downloads, uh, what we should be doing, I think, is uh, having a combined Cerebus and High Society free digital download and that would be available to anybody on a moment of service. All you folks watching this right now, uh, if you ever were in the situation that Matt was in going, uh, this looks like a potential service reader, but uh, you didn't have anything to back yourself up. Uh, I think if everybody got a digital code from George Gatsis and uh, it's a one-time code that would download uh, Cerebus and High Society digitally uh, to the person um, posting that code to CerebusDownloads.com. Uh, you would each have one of those. And then uh, as soon as you saw a situation like this, uh, particularly uh, if there's a bunch of people complaining about uh, uh, DC and Marvel, um, it just sounds to me like uh, Reboot fatigue? That's probably a good term for it. Uh, are you getting tired of your characters, your favorite comic characters, getting rebooted uh, every six months or every year? Uh, maybe you should try Cerebus. Uh, 26 years, 6,000 pages, not a single reboot. It starts over here, goes clean over to there, and you're all done. It's like I'd be deputizing all of you, <laughs> and I'm giving all of you a gun with exactly two bullets in it and uh, you just carry your gun around with two bullets in it and what, anywhere that you are on uh, on the internet if you see somebody posting something or you're in an online conversation or at a message board or whatever and you go I think this person might be uh, in the on deck circle for service then all you got to do is uh, contact them and go hey uh, I've got this one complimentary code that I get for uh, providing a free the Cerebus, High so Cerebus and High Society, the first two volumes of the Cerebus series, 1,000 pages of entertainment, and it's yours absolutely free if you want it. I will give you the digital code. It works one time. You go to this website, and there you go. You've got 1,000 pages, uh, roughly $50 worth of entertainment for free. And then 
after you've used up your two bullets in your gun, you can go back to George Katz's and get another couple of bullets. Hey, George, I found somebody. So, you know, that person ordered their two, uh, two volumes, Service and High Society, and uh, now I'm, uh, I'm loaded for bear. I'm, I'm going out looking for somebody else. Will it actually work exactly the way I'm describing it? Of course not. I'm a Luddite. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But uh, I'm pretty sure if everybody gets busy in the comments section down here for uh, this weekly update and hashes it around, uh, I think probably a solution will present itself pretty quickly as to uh, how we can do this. Deputize everybody who's interested in being deputized and then send them out there to recruit new Cerebus fans with free funny books. And uh, I don't think you can call, I appreciate uh, uh, the humor of, uh, of Matt's suggestion of virtually free Cerebus. You can't call it that. <laughs> if you go on the internet and call something virtually free, everybody's going to go, yeah, right, virtually free. No, it's got to be free Cerebus. Free Cerebus trade paperback. Free Cerebus $50 value. Something along those lines. I'm not really sure how the, uh, the name of the syndrome would go over. Uh, reboot fatigue. But I really think that that's probably what's happening. The reboots are coming faster and faster. And uh, you just uh, get used to your character being this way. And suddenly your character is another way. Uh, people are looking for um, sequential entertainment. Like I say, it starts over here, it goes clean over to there, and then all over and done. So um, we're going to leave it at that. And uh, definitely, I'm in with uh, complimentary Cerebus and I Society. The great thing about uh, digital copies is there's no overhead. It doesn't cost me anything to do this. And... Uh, if we pick up even 2%, 3% of people actually buying the trades and buying all of the trades uh, out of the two complementary copies, uh, <laughs> already we're, we're turning a profit on the deal. Uh, there's digital, which uh, has no overhead, and then there's books, which have a lot of overhead. And those are the things we really make our money on. So thank you, Matt Dow, and uh, I'm sure we'll be able to do something with this. Uh, it just won't be me or Sandy doing it. Hey, it's a fax from Matt Dow. You know what that means? Yes, we get to take another look at little Janice Pearl on the right and little Natasha B on the left. Everybody go, oh, and we'll see you. Well, next week, God willing, for the weekly update on June 17th.